have you ever been sober on a date, Dom? Okay. <laughs> now, Martine, you have had a first date nightmare. Not only did you have a first date nightmare, you had it all over a very famous person. Oh. <laughs> Don't leave it there. What the right. hell? Okay. <laughs> Basically, I was a massive fan of Simply Ready McHucknell. I had a poster of him up on my wall. And I'd met him at a premiere, and he got my number from my friend and called me up and invited me to go to the Nebworth concert to watch Oasis. That's nice. I was very nervous, couldn't eat, but kept drinking champagne, mixing with all these huge rock stars. And then we got into the car to go somewhere else after the concert, and all of a sudden, I got this sort of reflux, oh, and no. I went... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what way did you go again? <laughs> Yeah. I went, <laughs> and I just went, <laughs> and literally slapped his dreadlocks. So he went, <laughs> and the next thing I knew, he took me back to his and gave me a nice bacon sandwich and looked after me, made me ring my mum to yeah. say that I was safe. For me, the moral of that story is every white man with dreadlocks deserves to be thrown up on. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Well, some words of advice. The daily recommendation is three to four alcoholic units for a man, two for a woman, and 15 if, like Chris, you're from Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes the next deal breaker. Having too many friends of the opposite sex. Is that a deal breaker? Which way would the audience vote on that, Kelly? I feel like girls can be friendly with a guy without having any other thoughts about being with them yes. romantically. <laughs> <laughs> Hands off the tip. <laughs> Vicky, are you a jealous girl? Yes, I am a real jealous person. I can have as many lad mates as I want, but then I don't even want my boyfriend to have a sister. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I like that. I've got a theory about mams as well. Yes. Mams, when they've only got one son, yeah. right, stay away from that, cos they're going to love their mam loads and it's really aggy. You'll never compete. Find a mum who's got like four or five kids and go for the middle son. She's not even that bothered. <laughs> <laughs> not even that bothered. <laughs> 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 Doesn't even know he exists. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did the audience say, Martine? <laughs> Having too many friends of the opposite sex. Men are a bit selective about what they tell you about their women friends. They're sneaky. Yeah, you are. You are sneaky. Like. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. You are sneaky. The amount of times I get from my wife, oh, it's such as. Do you think she's good looking? I'm just like, I'm not falling into that snake pit. <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? The amount of times I've just ran out the room for emergency sh and that question came up. <laughs> 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 